comes up big, not turn and run, puts us down two to one. Uh, we struggled a little bit there early, but the kids kept going, 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 and then, you know, Aggie comes up, gets a big hit, Tess gets the great hit, and I pull the major mess up in, in the, uh, whatever inning it was, I pull the major mess up, and, uh, you know, what had happened, and, and, and that's how good our kids are. Number 11 wants to play, and she shot out of the dugout. Had she not taken the base, she would not have been out. But by her taking the base without, you know, she had already ran for the for the catcher, uh, and that's my fault. You know, <laughs> old dogs can learn that tricks. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I can't say enough about every kid. You know, Amelia comes up big and hits one through there. Every kid, every kid, that was a true team win. You know, uh, and, and, you know, Tess uh, threw very well and, you know, did some very dangerous hitters. You know, we knew that Leichhardt and, and Tilly could go out of here. And here I'm, I'm counting, you know, I'm checking, I'm counting, I'm checking, I'm counting. It, that's, the, that's the one thing that Pete Jones taught me a long time ago, know where you are in the lineup. And when we, uh, you know, they drew a walk. I knew that the possibility of Reichardt and, and, and Tilly coming back for the plate was a possibility, and they could have very easily, you know, tied this thing up. So, you know, my hat's off to Coach Payne and them because they've got a true quality program. You know, we beat them three nothing the first game, and I think it's uh, pretty sweet. But you know, our last game together was right here, you know, right now, and, and now we've got to get ready for T.C. Roberson. And, Hit a bunch of bombs, from what I hear. And now you get on the phone and you know, that kind of stuff. And, and you know, we live another day. Five straight down the road or six? Uh, it takes, you uh, I mean to win? No, but, I mean, you was a really good win. This is the fifth. fifth right. And you know, that says a lot for our seniors. You know, uh, somebody said on Friday, uh, and, and we were here, and somebody said, you know, Ah, oh, they got all this pressure on them. You know, they got this mythical ranking, and they got this, and they got that, and the pressure's on them, and, you know, sometimes I'd rather be that way. And I can't say enough about the senior and underclassmen that are here. They are, uh, you know, uh, a good team. They, they're the true meaning of team. I'm not kidding you. They like each other. Uh, uh, they remind me a little bit of guys. They get mad at each other, and they turn right around, and... Fifteen minutes later, we were sitting down uh, <laughs> going to McDonald's or something. Uh, you know, we were very fortunate tonight. We were. We were very fortunate because of the rain up front. Because we were able to adjust. Now, y'all y'all had to come back against East Rowan, I think it was. Yes. And that, that's the first thing I said when I got when we got to the room up here the other night. I walked in and I said, does anybody remember East Rowan? And they are a Final Four team. They're going down as a Final Four team, and they were undefeated when we played them. And, you know, the kids said, you know, Coach, you're right. And we got down two to nothing to them and came back and, and won. And uh, so we knew we had it in there. And, uh, you know, I let a couple of kids swing away late in the game because I felt good about them instead of uh, maybe advancing a runner. And I made me a little thinking for next week. But, yeah. And that, that game was a help because it was uh, three to two. Yeah, came back and won three to two in the last inning. Katie Vick hit a double and scored two runs to put us up three two, and then it ended just like this. We were blessed. Thank you, coach. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Thank you.